Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing great. Blessed and highly favored, and I hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light, and many blessings are yet to come. If you can, please like and subscribe, and even hit the notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are a returning sub, Thank you for the love and support, fam. Love and life and many blessings is yet for you. For many blessings are yet for you to come. And namaste. And thank you for the support. Again, as always. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Be unapologetically you. We all have, basically, we all have a past. And it's just certain things that... We are not too proud to talk about because it's just, you know, things that we went through and, you know, it's brought us to where we had to be today. You know, and it's just like you shouldn't be apologetic about who the real person is. As long as it's not something that is um, projecting a negative frequency or negative vibes towards anybody, you should never be apologetic for how you truly are. If you are bringing light to the world and positivity to the world, that is the best bet. And you should never be sorry for that. And it's just like things that we have done. I said there's the many things that I've done that basically that, you know, I wasn't too proud of because it's like, you know, I didn't really have a good um, childhood or whatever. And it's not just because of my parents. It's just things that I chose to do on, my, on the outside. So I can't just really blame my parents for every single thing. I played my part in there. And that's one thing that you should... You know, I had to admit to, even though it was, you know, it was something painful for me to do, but it was just like, you know what, you can't put, just put all the blame on them. You just have to, you know, admit your, you know, your faults that you played your part to. So it's just like things I've done that, you know, that has brought me to where I am. You know, I've always, like, been honest about that situation. It's just I put it in my, um, um, I put it in my book, you know, and it was just like, you know, my family used to always tell me, don't ever do anything, that, you know, if you're famous, don't ever do anything you don't want to come back up. And I used to always wonder why they said that. And it was just like, you know, they tried to scare me on not to say anything or not to go digging deep, you know, for my life. But it was just something I had to do. You know, learning more, more and more about yourself every day is just something that you should never neglect from yourself because you learn things every day i don't know about you but i like learning new things and it's just like looking outside the box thinking you know thinking there's more and more out there it's just that we've been programmed in this matrix for so long and you know it's like you know everything has been the way they projected us or they wanted us to look at things so it's just like for me venturing out and knowing what i've done was always a blessing to me because it's just like you know i'm like wow you know it's just it's like you know this is the first first of the month you know new year and it's just like you you reflect on the things that you've been through and it's just like you know if you have really you know you dug in there you know you don't went through your ups and downs but you have not let you know the situations that you've been in you know stop you from anything i went today while i'm up here saying what i gotta say i'm listening to my dad call uh it's called uh, Muse to Mellow. You know, I felt like listening to some jazz, you know, just dance around a little bit. So it's just like, you know, but back to what I was saying. It's, it's just like anything that you have been through has brought you to where you are. And I've always said that in a lot of my videos. It's just the things that you've been through is, you know, got you where you are today. So it's just like, you know, don't be ashamed of the things you've been through because if you did not make those mistakes, you did not make those failures, it wouldn't have made you a better person. So never be ashamed or be, you know, apologizing, saying, sorry, I did this. Sorry, I did that. You know, our mistakes are, you know, the greatest stories. Our failures are the greatest stories because you never know. Like I say all the time, you never know what you know, you might have been through something and you go out there and you tell somebody your story. You know, you never know what you meant been through could help somebody out of the domestic violence, can help somebody get back on their feet, you know. And it's just like when everything gets straight, I want to be able to have one of those places where, you know, there's women that has been into domestic violence for so long that they have programmed themselves to be used to something like that. And I want to be able to help people get back on their feet so they know 
you know, I can have a life on my own without this person, this person, this person. You know, it could be a family member. It doesn't always have to be a significant other. It could be a family member. It could be your upbringing, whatever. You know, you can be used to stuff like that. And when you get out and say, you know what, I've been through this, but this is how, it, you know, I played my benefit to a part to it. Or, you know, it has helped me get this way. And it just let you know, okay, if I can get through this, you can get through it too. Because it's like a lot of times when we get into situations, we always give excuses for the things we do. And we cling on out of fear. And it's just that that's not good to do because it's just you never know what is out there. You know, we fear the unknown. When we do, it's just like when you're on a journey and don't know where it's going to lead you, that can be scary sometimes because it's just like, you know, when you're going out as a teenager and you're finally going into adulthood and you're going off by yourself, yeah, it seems fun and everything like that, but, um, uh, sorry, I thought one of my candles was on fire, my bad, <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, but no, um, it's just when you go through all these different things, it's just a learning experience, so you, you should never be apologetic for anything that you go through. Never be apologetic. You know, I said today I'm going to make a few videos and we'll go ahead and break them down into different things because I was going to talk about different things. And it's just, you know, when you come to my channel, I want to be able to talk about so many different things, not just one or two. You know, I like to venture out and, you know, learn new things. And when I find out new things and, you know, I love to tell you guys. It's just that's why I love making these videos. It's just, you know, it's very therapeutic for me. Because it feels like it's helping me heal. And, it, it, you know, my voice might be able to help somebody else getting through things. So, it's just, I'm glad the things that I've been through. Because it's just like, you know what? This is what I have to do. It's just, I always wanted to be able to save the world and contribute my, myself to society about how am I going to be able to help do this. You know, there's so many bad things that's going on in the world. You know, there's so many, you know, deaths. And it, it's just like senseless stuff. You know, I know everything has... A circle of life and stuff like that but it's bad when you don't even want to read the newspaper you don't want to read the news because I cry about every little single thing especially when it's like unjust stuff I can't deal with it I won't you know I shut myself off and like you know what this is, is going to take me to that spot and I don't want to be in that spot because I know everything serves its purpose I, you know and I have to keep saying that everything serves its purpose even if it's things we don't understand everything serves its purpose but I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I will see you on my next video. And as always, I will keep you guys in my prayers. And I hope you do the same thing for me. And love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you can, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.